Hey everyone, my name is Kevin Kowalski and I am going to be doing a review on the Cricut Maker. Now, Cricut Maker seems like, what am I, what am I gonna use this for in the clay studio? Well, there's a ton of potential and I'm excited to tap into that and show you what I can come up with. So let's get started by unboxing. The Cricut Maker really does change everything for me in the clay studio. It handles vinyl, thick cardstock, acrylic, and 300 plus more materials with effortless precision. It places more creative possibilities than ever at our fingertips. Effortlessly switch between tools without missing a beat. Plus, with more tools coming, Cricut Maker grows with you as you master each new art project and design idea. The Cricut Maker's versatility is really perfect for working in clay. This one machine can assist with many design elements when working in multiple stages of the clay process, from designs of wet clay to fired clay. It can help emboss designs, add texture, and create stencils for underglaze, slips, and glaze. When creating stencils or uh, embossing stencils, accuracy is very important to create clean lines. Um, when creating designs, patterns, and textures in clay, the clean cut materials will create perfect stencils to press into the clay or apply on the clay. These clean lines will allow little to no extra cleanup and rework. Multiple layers of designs can be achieved as well by cutting multiple materials in the Cricut Maker. Once I downloaded the Cricut Design app on my computer, uh, I quickly just searched for some designs to import into the, um, the canvas area. And I, I really thought about the, um, the potential for each project and thinking about the materials that I was using. So I had ordered these um, transfer uh, sheets and they are made out of tissue paper and they have underglaze transfers onto them. And I thought they'd be a great idea to uh, cut out some letters and place them onto um, a uh, piece of uh, bisqueware. Now, I, as you can see here, I had to print it twice, so I forgot to reverse it because when you put the letters down, you want to put them in reverse. So don't forget that. The other uh, project I wanted to do was put uh, vinyl, uh, vinyl stencils onto bisqueware. And you see here that I was measuring this, the, the bisqueware first and then um, designing the, the shapes for specifically for this cup. So I'm using the hibiscus flower in a repeated pattern that I designed. Um, and then uh, the Cricut Maker easily cut it out. And then I'm gonna peel out those vinyl pieces and stick them onto the cup and then transfer or put, put underglaze um, onto that. Here's another project where I had to switch out and uh, get a separate blade, the knife blade. And this really does uh, cut nicely uh, thicker cardstock and even um, acrylic uh, plastic. With the expandable suite of tools, I really feel like Cricut does care about the user and is really determined to help find help us find more ways to be creative with the Cricut Maker. You know, right out of the box, I was already designing um, uh, designs and ideas for, for my projects. And, uh, you know, everything was just smooth and seamless and, and it worked really quickly. The transition from the cutting and designing uh, par portion of this uh, demo was, was really easy. Um, I, I moved the machine out of the way so that none of the clay dust and, and glaze could get onto the machine. And I started using uh, all the, the templates and uh, designs that I'd uh, created. And you can see here that they, they worked out really well. The thing I liked the best about this machine is that the edges that it cut are so crisp. Now I did have a little issue because this is a rounded surface. It was really difficult to get that vinyl to get uh, like stuck on there cleanly. So some of the edges um, bled through a little bit, but you know, with time, I think I'll get better at the application. One of the key features of the Cricut Maker is that I can easily change a design on the fly. If I wanted to change a shape, a, a size, um, or even a material, I can easily um, go right back to the machine and uh, input that stuff in and change it up. Working with a clay slab, I wanted to really uh, find a way to emboss the surface. So that means like there's a raised surface. So cutting cardstock, something that's thicker, or this vinyl PC, really enabled me to emboss the surface and bring that clay up into the stencil. 
With the Cricut Maker's versatility and the amount of materials you can use, I was able to find a material that was waterproof to cut and created a really clean stencil for this uh, amazing gradient. I love this stenciling and I love uh, how this turned out. The craft foam was really great because it gave a, a really thick embossment. Once I applied all the design to the slab, I turned it into a cup. And even the bottom had some decoration from an embossment that I used. I had a great time exploring the possibilities with this uh, Cricut Maker. And uh, with all of the materials that I was able to use, I can just think of so many more possibilities. A couple of things that I noticed um, when I was doing this is, you're gonna go through material and you're gonna make mistakes. And that's, that's something that's true with everything that you try for the first time. You have to learn the material that you're using. I wasn't using all of the, the material that Cricut gives you or that is offered. Um, I was using material that I went and got at a, an art supply store or uh, I use uh, wax paper from the kitchen. So you kind of have to learn um, what material you're using and then how deep to cut it and also uh, what tool to use. So you, there are expandable cutting heads, which is really nice. Uh, I really like the knife blade uh, that, uh, that accesses like kind of thicker pieces of material like this uh, foam. Uh, it cut really nice and clean with just a regular cutting blade. The Cricut has a good wide base, so it's 12 by actually 24. You can get sheets that are 24 inches long. So you can get nice long templates uh, to build the cups when you were watching me build that cup. I just used just a rectangle, but if you wanted any kind of taper or uh, darts or anything on there that are pre-designed, uh, this surface is great and you can use the cardstock or something that's reusable. Now this does create and cut a crisp edge. So you can see on my vinyl stickers, um, the edges are really crisp. It's just connecting it to the bisque or the surface of the clay. That was the challenge. Um, with practice, I think I will get better. I, I know I'll get better. So that's uh, one of the, the issues I had with it. Um, and then some of the bleeding through just because I didn't attach the material down to the clay. Uh, that's all stuff that I can clean up uh, afterwards. But I was trying to really minimize the amount of cleanup that I had to do by utilizing the Cricut Maker's uh, crispness of, um, of the cuts that it makes. But overall, I was so impressed with all the materials that I used, and I really recommend this machine in your uh, clay studio, in your art studio, and I, uh, I, I hope you find some great uses out of it like I did. Thank you so much for watching.